When you look down the row here in my backyard, what you'll see is a lot of Trachycarpus palms. One, you know, because I really like them too, they grow well here. Um, and I wanted something to cover the fence. And when I first bought them, going back about almost five years ago, it'll be five years the spring that they went in, they were very short palms, um, maybe, you know, 12 inches of trunk sort of thing. And they have grown pretty darn quick. But the thing about these ones is they are planted as triples. And now they're getting to the point where they've put on a lot of height and they're starting to lose some of their lower fronds. And I'm going to show you what the uh, impact of planting them in triples is. They actually came as triples. There's three in each pot and their trunks were touching and they're still touching. But we're going to get in here and we're going to have a look. It's getting very close to the point where I'm going to be pulling off. Uh, you can see over there that these lower fronds are starting to die off. So a lot of people ask, how does it affect their growth rate? And I would say for the most part, it's not that noticeable. Uh, there tends to be one small one in each clump, but uh, I get two big ones. So this is the small one in front right here. It's still hard to get in here, but it's getting better. And then if you look up here, you got that one stretching off to the left. And this one right here is kind of curving off to the right. They're, they're leaning away from one another. But the thing that I notice most is how thin the trunks are at the top. That is quite thin. Now the bases of the palms are more average uh, in width. And you can see here how close that they are growing in proximity to one another. So can you do it? Yes. Does it affect their growth? If it does, it's negligible. There's three in there. But narrow trunks is what you get. At least, at least in the, we'll, call, we'll say the top half, the trunks appear a little bit narrow, especially that one at the back. So I'm gonna show you uh, a couple more of the clumps and then I'll show you a couple of um, solitary growing specimens. Here we are at the third clump. You just saw the first two. And this one has one palm in particular that has really overtaken the other two. So one at the back is, uh, we'll call that a medium. That's about five and a half foot. This one is maybe seven feet of trunk. And then you get the mini. This one here is definitely being held back by the other two. So when you plant, when you have these triples, they don't all grow the same. This one is very robust, thick trunk all the way up. Curves though, because the bananas were here. This one here is still showing that kind of thin upper half, but the base has a reasonable amount of thickness to it. Um, the other thing that you get is they, they, their petioles tend to stretch because they're competing with one another. Over to my right here is the fourth, I actually have five triples if you can believe it. Well, if you don't count the ones in the front. Uh, this, these ones here seem to have spaced themselves out quite nicely if you actually look at it, because these came in quite a small pot. And these ones here, yeah, they're still showing, you know, kind of that narrowing at the top. But my feeling is, is you know, the further down you go, the thicker they get. And in time, that will all thicken up. So but you can see these things are tall and they're, they have these really nice long petioles here. Uh, maybe five feet, four to five foot on these petioles. I really like this stretched out look that you get. I think it's a little bit more tropical looking in nature. gap here is where I had my big clump of baju that got cut back down pretty far. Now we'll take a look at a couple solitary specimens. All right, so we got a couple solitary palms here. These ones went in after those triples 
they went in at a larger size. They might have had two feet of trunk overall. This one here is quite robust, um, but growth wise, uh, it's maybe seven foot. So it's not really growing at a much quicker pace than those ones along the fence, but it's thicker through the trunk. Um, it's a little more uniform. Only near the top do you see a little bit of narrowing, which is normal. And this one has quite a thick base to it, and even has the roots coming out the side. This guy over here, I'm trying to think if they went in at the same year, these two. Pretty close. This one was a, a smaller one. Um, took a little while to get going, but it, now it is moving. This one has very nice dark green fronds and more of a stretch in the petiole that gets shaded by the house and same thing what i'm seeing is is the trunk is a more of a uniform diameter not quite as narrowing at the top as the ones along the fence uh this would have gone in geez i'm trying to remember for the same year i think it was the year after the ones along the fence and it is kind of right smack dab in the middle so Planting them in triples does not seem to affect their growth rate, provided you give them adequate water and nutrition. These are much taller than those two that I just showed you. Um, I wouldn't even, oh, it's probably a uh, I mean, minimum of 12 foot, 12 to 15 feet high, I'd say. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. At least fifteen. When I stand up next to them, I'm I'm only uh, I'm only coming to about here, or my head would be about there, and then there's that much more. So really moving along. So if you want to plant them in triples, I recommend it. The one thing that I'm wondering about is in time when these actually become quite large palms where they have you know 15 20 foot of trunk it will it affect um, their stability in high winds i guess i'll find out right thanks for watching